G'day, welcome to the channel. I'm out here in my greenhouse and I want to show you some practical prints. So I have a hydroponic system which is here. It has a water reservoir down here which holds uh, from memory it's about 350 litres. These are all my nice lettuces and rocket and capsicum plants but as far as printing is concerned firstly there was these these are thanks to Hucho's channel uh, which he calls a puck now these were printed in a in a foam material and I cut all these out on uh, one of the laser engravers that we reviewed so I was cutting out about a dozen at a time and that worked really well so they just sit in there and hold the plants as you can see if I pull one out you can see it has a nice healthy root system and that goes in there so although it's not 3D printing they were done on a laser engraver but here's my old strawberry tower. Now as you can see it's been running for two or three years. Now, I've just recently pruned the strawberries so they're looking a little thin but they're actually quite healthy. There's a pump down underneath there that pumps water up through the system and I always have trouble getting this off. There we go and pumps it out the top it goes through those holes there and trickles down past the plants and as you can see it develops nice healthy roots but this this is looking a little tatty so i decided to do a bit of redesigning on tinkercad and print a nice new one. So I'll show you that in a sec. Oh, I also, I almost forgot, made these things. These, I found the original design on Thingiverse, but it wasn't for what I'm using it for. I think from memory it was something that went up that way, but I can't, re it was a long time ago. So these are printed uh, and they just sit over the plant, like so. And the plant can grow up through the hole and it will, it will hold the plant nice and stable when it starts getting fruit on it. Well, that's the theory anyway, as you can see it's starting to grow up through the hole so I'll give you an update on those at some point and just see if they do work but they're an experiment and this is what I've been working on a nice pretty new one to go in the greenhouse and most of it was printed on the Flashforge Adventurer 5M Pro it is printed in PLA and it's printed in pieces like so. That's the only piece that was printed on a bigger printer because it was too high. But you could adjust that if you so desired if you had a smaller printer. So that just sits in there. So there's that piece that's all one piece just two colors and that piece and the top I'll show you in a sec okay so that's the top where the water will go down that's the lid with the little duva to hold the pipe in place and that just sits on there so all together the system has one two three four five 
six components. Now there are plenty of this type of system on Thingiverse and, and other sites. So I'm not going to put mine up on Thingiverse, but if it's something that you think you might like, then then I'll put it up. So put it in the comments if you want me to put it on Thingiverse. And I'll go out and put it in the greenhouse and replace my tatty old one with this one and we'll see what it looks like out there okay it's the next day and i'm going to change my plants over Okay, problem fixed. That sits on like that. Now we can put the plants back. moment of truth we'll crank it up and see how we get on uh, that way sounds good okay I like it new strawberry tower. I'm sure they'll be much happier. Okay that's about it for my practical print for my strawberry tower. It's all working nicely. There'll be more practical prints coming up so hit that subscribe button and the bell icon and hopefully we'll have some more practical stuff that you can see. Catch you on the next one. Bye bye.